Midday Columbus is back, and hey, let's head to the kitchen. They're making some delicious desserts. Hey, Fritz. Yeah. I want to hear you say whoopie pie. Whoopie pie. Whoopie pies, because that's whoopie what pie. we're making, everyone. <laughs> Vicki Hutchins and Leanne. Uh, no, I'm just bringing it. Joanne. I'm sorry, <laughs> Joanne. Okay. Joanne Martin. They are the Gooseberry Patch ladies, famous for their cookbooks, famous for their recipes. And this morning, we're having fun for Fourth of July, Memorial Day. Just a Sunday at your house. Exactly. And all kinds of whoopie pies. So talk about it. What makes them such a classic? They are something everyone loves. Yeah. Uh, you can be old, you can be young. Everybody loves a whoopie pie, and they're super simple to make. Um, this one over here, the chocolate one, was from scratch, but the other ones were made from cake mixes. Oh, see, now that's my mm -hmm. kind of dessert. Cake mixes. Okay, well, kind of walk us through each one and then help me make some. Okay. Well, the nice thing is you can do any kind of filling you like. You can do like a cream cheese filling with our red velvet. We have a marshmallow cream here that we've done with our vanilla. Mm -hmm. mm. And um, then we even have some store bought filling that you can use to make it. Make it easy. Why it doesn't not? matter. Just decorate and have some fun. So when we talk whoopie pies, it's really just a matter of something white in between something else. And it doesn't exactly. have to be white. You could do chocolate. Yep. You know, just it's a filling. It's a cookie. It's a little cake. Uh, you know, kind of sandwich exactly. together. Okay, exactly. so the so. filling can be absolutely to your taste. I love yes. that. I didn't Anything know that. I thought want. it was all marshmallow based. Doesn't have to be. Okay, and great. And we've done red, know. white, and blue with Memorial Day coming up, but you could do any color theme that you like. Mm -hmm. You know, just kind of personalize it so how, however you like it. And when okay. you start with a cake mix, you can use any flavor cake mix that you like. So the so. varieties go on and on for 100 years. Yes. Yes. All right, well, help okay. me make some. Okay, here we go. These are the red velvet, and all you do is there is your pastry bag. And you said cream cheese. I love yes, these. Yes, these are going exactly. to be delish. And just go ahead and just squirt until your heart's delight. So there's really no huge trick no, here? No, not at all. And the more the merrier. And then what you can do is you can take mm -hmm. them and you can also um, kind of Oh, Dip them in some sprinkles. If See, you like. and I've done so some red ones over here on the vanilla. It looks mm -hmm. really pretty. So you, you can, can make a bar out of these for your party. You could. Have the kids Absolutely. do it. What a fun oh, they idea! They would love that. They would love that. And you know, there are whoopie pie pans that you can buy now, or you can just make freeform cookies. However, you like to do it. Okay. You don't have to have all the supplies. You just want to keep it nice and easy. And that's what the one, uh, the big one there, the giant one, is from a whoopie pie pan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what will that pan do for you? Forms the whoopie pie. Okay, it makes the big yes, one for you exactly. to make it nice exactly. and easy. Exactly, it kind of makes yeah. a little poofy on the top, so that it's not quite as flat as a cookie might be. Okay, this is great. Easy. What is your favorite recipe of the whoopie pies? You guys have a personal favorite, Vicky? I think I like the pumpkin uh, pumpkin recipe, uh, especially during the harvest time, and um, you can flavor your whipped cream or your your a icing cinnamon, with a little maybe. cinnamon or yeah. So, but chocolate's always a favorite. You can't go wrong always. with chocolate. Joanne, what's your favorite? I think I'm going to go with the vanilla, but you know, we have a, um, a lot of recipes online, so you can mix and match whatever you like. And you can, we have over 2,000 recipes right now that are free online, so you can just jump in there and really it's a cake mix and filling and do whatever you like with it. It's just a little bit of extract to your cream. Yeah. Um, I think lots of choices. Yeah. 2,000. I love it. And you know, tell people you've become regular guests so we don't ask you every yes. time, but you guys really have this huge national following with loyal fans. What is Gooseberry yes. Patch and your cookbooks all about? Gooseberry Patch is, it, it appeals to, to people that love family and home and tradition. And our recipes are simple. They're things that you already have in your cupboards. Uh, they're not fancy, but they're good comfort food. Mm. Nice and cooking. easy. And we're saying you can make every night special, but it can exactly. still be easy. Yeah, and are you telling difficult. me whoopie pies are not a delicacy? Because I beg to differ. <laughs> they are fantastic. An American treat. We have put all of these recipes and, of course, a link to the Gooseberry Ladies right on our website. Just hop on myfox28columbus.com and click on news links. I made a special one for you and you and you. Why are they called whoopee? Like, because people say whoopee oh, when you eat them. Exactly. Because there's a whole lot of whoopee in that pie. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. What's the answer? Actually, it started in Pennsylvania. It was an Amish uh, uh, custom, and uh, women would pack their farmers' lunch boxes, and when they would open the lunch box, they'd go whoopee. Oh, because <laughs> it was such a good dessert. <laughs> That's what I hear it was a nice